Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Oh, I should get an enduro. I think that would be a very sweet. I sound a bit muffled. It's because I've got a windbreaker on because it's quite cold. I feel I feel like I should get an enduro. Or better yet, I should get an old road, an adventure, I want an adventure. I've uh, test driven the um I don't think my suspension is really digging this adventure of mine. I've just driven the Tiger 800XC and it was the tits. It was amazing. Oh, it seems to be going to the right. Which I will not do. Fucking sure, this is terrible for my suspension. I'm not a known giver of fucks. Swagging, slippery. Where is this going? Ah, there's a fence. Get an enduro. Slippery. <laughs> More slippery. I'm gonna have been through snow, but this shouldn't be too bad. Murdering this bike, and again, that, that's kind of what it's for.
Maybe this is my adventure bike. <clears throat> well then. I'm probably gonna cut most of that off because it was pretty much a lot of time doing the same thing. Uh, I should get an adventure bike. Yep, I should get an adventure bike. Why do I not have an adventure bike yet? I've got a cold. I don't like it. Fuck it, this way. That's traffic. Um, I had a terrible day. That's just kind of how it is. As, uh, as I said earlier, if, um, if I sound a bit muffled, it's because I've got my windbreaker on, because it's quite cold. As I figured out earlier today when I went cycling. Anyway, um, I've had a terrible day. But, no, you know, that's something for a bit later, because first, I want to talk about crashes. And first of all, I'm quite surprised I didn't have one just then. Because I think, and this is a suspicion, I'm not entirely sure, that this bike was not designed for off-roading. The suspension and um, the power transfer and the transmission and the fairings and anything that is on this bike basically gave me the impression it did not like what I was doing. Odd, isn't it? I know. But crashes. Um, a friend of mine had a crash not too long ago which is obviously very shit. Um, it was a um, two-sided collision, so there was another vehicle involved. Um, that vehicle did not see him. And because that vehicle did not see him, he was not given right of way. Because he was not given right of way, he crashed. Now that by itself is obviously, you know, a bummer. It's not nice. You don't wish it upon anyone. But it kind of, you know, crashing on a motorbike is like old people having sex. You know it's out there. You know it's happening. There is probably videos of it. But it's not always on your mind. At least I hope not. So every time you come across a crash, someone you know crashes, or you crash yourself, or you've got the um, YouTube compilations of, you know, thousands and thousands of quids being thrown to the ground, or driven off a cliff, or whatever. It makes you realize but there's old people in the world fornicating, as they call it. It's happening, people. We need an awareness campaign. No, I'm sorry. Um, ahem, I digress. Crashing happens, and when you crash, you can only hope to get out of it as bad as good, well, the best you can. And for some, crashing is just a financial liability. And for some, you know, they, when they get hurt, it becomes a physical liability. I know quite a few people that crashed at some point and um, haven't recovered yet. They're still recovering. They've got aches and pains that never, that might never go away. That's a risk. And you know, partly this lies, you know, with yourself. 
if you behave more, if you abide rules more, the uh, risks decrease and you, you are less likely to encounter a crash. But they can still happen. That, man, that lady did not see him, so he crashed. She wasn't hurt. He was. I mean, her car is probably not going to be ridden off. His bike, yeah, who knows? All I'm saying is, you know, crashing happens and it's not always on my mind. When I do stupid stuff, I'm not thinking, oh well, my um, chances of crashing have just dramatically increased. I'm just having fun. And so are all people. Bloody old people, fornicating and shit. Anyway, so that happened. I have absolutely no idea what I was talking about before that, because all I can think about now is old people. Um, anyway, why do I not have an adventure bike yet? Why do I not have an adventure bike yet? So I'm going to Germany tomorrow to go skiing which obviously I will record I haven't skied in 10 years and I see no no way whatsoever that this can go wrong no way whatsoever solid plan Anyway, I, I think I've done what I came to do. Story about the noise, it will be um, mended in the next video. And uh, I will see you guys later. Yeah. Peace.